Good morning, good evening, good afternoon to you, whenever you're finding this video on Poke Prowls. My name is Will, and I was considering a nap this afternoon, but the girlfriend's gone out, and she's gone to go meet her mates, so I'm like, no, no, we've got time, we've got time now, let's make some content now. Oak was an absolute, let's be honest here, call a spade a spade, absolute arsehole towards uh, Agatha, and Athena just called him out on it. So now we're going to Pewter City by ourselves. Uh, so, <laughs> we are really... Okay. And Giovanni does not... Does, Giovanni doesn't look happy. Hi, friend. <laughs> what the heck has gotten into you? Are you seriously that deranged? Excuse me. You've broken Agatha to the point where Athena can't do anything to lift the mood up. How on earth can you be so evil? There are other ways to communicate your thoughts and feeling... Uh, thoughts other than insulting someone who's been waiting for you for so long. What? Well, I don't understand. Oh my god. He's thick. Oak is thick. You're joking, right? Or are you seriously that oblivious? You've always been eccentric when it came to that stuff, but I never ever heard you insult someone. Seriously, Sam, why'd you do that? I'm sorry, but I don't follow you. You literally called her pathetic, my guy. If you're talking about the way my vice actor is ruling Cape, then I just told her the truth. She doesn't have the faintest idea what this involves. Some stuff about you, you've changed. I've double-clicked that twice. Uh, I couldn't really know, but I hope this has come from ignorance and not malice. I'll try to justify your peculiarities to Agatha. Perhaps I can help you see her see- I, I'm, I should have taken the nap. Perhaps I can help her see you for what you are. An interest in anything that has anything to do with people. I'll tell her that you can't really process personal stuff and that you wanted her to toughen up. So no real intention of hurting her feelings. This is the last time I'm bailing you out like this, Sam. You're a grown-ass man now. Act like one. What the heck happened? You were an idiot, you were an idiot! Like, I don't even want to heal my Pokemon up, because healing items are so few and far between. I don't want to waste them when I can know. I'm now in Pewter City. Pewter Town. Pewter Town. Pewter Town. What's up? I'm an Apricot Lord. I was swapping the bad energy curse off. <gasps> yes! Oh. For a thousand? What? For a thousand? Absolute scam, mate. Oh, the museum isn't here. What's up, farmer? You're fun, mate. You look like a funny man to me. <laughs> did he burp or throw up? I'm not sure. It's locked. Now I'm getting kind of curious. I mean, you did just try and walk into someone's house uninvited. Who's is a good like choice for terrorists like me? There's nothing amazing to the south, too. Okay, bye. Thanks. Hello, old man Jenkins. What are you doing to my house? Too bloody right. Howdy, your table great. I can hear your critters with these 500 pounds. You can probably take three days. No. I'd rather just let my team die and then I get it all for free. Yo, check this out, another victim coming through. Ha 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 ha! Unsuspected team is like, you have nothing to surrender to a pirate like us. We're invincible! Hey! Excuse me, some kind of tamer team? With whispering monkeys, bro! Great, I found a crew way older than I thought. Nice, how about a battle? Can't wait to be done with you guys. Confidence. Yo, what? Do you even know who we are? The Whispering Mankeys. Log, I don't have time for patience like this. You're just wasting my time. Can you can I take me to your leader? Oh, can you just take me to the ASAP? I'm not awake. Okay, this one's crazy. Keep on singing. Mister, are you deaf or something? We found a way to change what our creatures look like. They got much stronger. You don't stand a chance. Just hear this. A group of pretty strong tamers went into our turf and they got mauled. What group? Now, why do you care? Two bimbos and a scary guy. He is every hard to put down, but hey, you can't do with our leader. There's so many creatures, it's impossible to beat him. I forgot these people don't rough right into league restrictions. So, yeah, do you be at a loss for words once you heard of our leader's mighty deeds? Alright, I'll see what we can do. I'm not expecting too much from you backwards Cantonians. What, are you some kind of sinful savage? What problem do you have with southerners? That's it, I'm pissed now. Time to obliterate you. Hey! That's fine. I mean, I'm just literally just letting the team go down so I can just get a free revive. And then I just walk down and go again. There's no incentive to heal my Pokemon. Because look, I respawned at the top of the town with a fully healed team. It's going to lead with a cloister. So let's get uh, Gloom at the front uh, for a Mega Drain. And then look, we just go again. Look at that C and X button very quickly. Come on. I broke the music. I'm a silly goof. Cloister. Ooh, I should have put that to sleep. Now I've got two sets of spikes to deal with. 
Then we've got Poliwrath. We go into Pidgeotto, who's probably going to lose because Pidgeotto is hot trash. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Whirlwind, get out of here, trash. What else we got? Graveler. That's not good. Um, oh dear. Okay, back into Primate. Still out speed of Graveler. Thank you. Oh, it's the last one. Cool. Uh, one attack. We survive. We survive another one. Horn attack. Thank you. I got destroyed. We wait till Yowza hears about this. Yowza? Yowza! I'm so tired. What do you do to my homestead? I made pretty. I'm gonna default every to pursue my home. Get it. Oh, get it. There was no diction in my speech then. Oh, it's so scary. Why can't I even do what I'm not a tamer? But that doesn't sound good, does it, sir? Do I actually have any? Not that I want to catch a Butterbury, but okay, I have. Oh, I if I want to, I have got one Pokeball. Hear me out. I don't have an electric type. That's it. That, that's hear me out. I don't have an electric type. Chuck a ball and hope. One, two, three. No. Oh, 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 but easy, that really. Don't nickname Pikachu. Put that one in the bag. In the bag? What do you mean in the bag? In the bag? Container. <laughs> uh, goodbye, Jigglypuff. Absolutely get off my team, you trash balloon. Pikachu that oak gives to red, maybe? Origin story confirmed? Oh, okay. They did a little rework here. Because they should be able to get a hidden item up on the left in the OG games. I need to help them first. Ah, there they are. Oh, they've caught our friends. I probably should help them. I'm not sure we outspeed. We don't outspeed and we are dead. That's fine, because Tauros outspeeds. You fool, you could have finished me off. I only need one Pokemon. You, I've heard of you. Uh, Matt, what voice are you? Um, you, I've heard of you, barbaric foreigner. How dare you go around beating us women like we're nothing, insulting the nation's pride. They're not gangster turf. This is a Scouse. Attempt at a Scouse accent for those who aren't from the UK. Ah, you're the leader of this team. Nice to meet you. So, I have a deal for you. If you lose, you have to release all your creatures. You give them to give some to my pals there. And then you disband your little gang. And we're good. Or else I'll... Shut up! Shut your freaking mouth! You dare threaten me! Not if four monster like you can defeat a huge team I've amassed. Prepare! Well, maybe I don't need just one one. Maybe I do need- Ah! You, you get him! You get him, Tauros! Oh, break me, I'm back at the start. Here we go again. Right. Come on, my Scouse friend. Let's boogie woogie woogie. I broke the sound again. Get out of here. Oh my god, so you're gonna have a team of- Please, Sam, have a team of Rattatas. That'll be hilarious. Sandslash, not just team of Rattatas. Okay, that's fine. We only have Slash to hit Pidgeotto, but also Pidgeotto is crap. So we're just gonna... Two, three, sand attack. Sand attack. Go on, do something, Pidgeotto. Nope, good. Thanks. One stupid AI. Thank you. What I should do is this. Miss, sleep powder, miss. Slash, hit, sleep powder. Thank you. Mega Drain to get it back. Nope. Okay, well, that went well. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. We are in trouble. Ekins will swap into Pikachu to take the Intimidate. There it is. Because we can hit back with a Nuzzle into a Discharge. Mud Bomb. Stop that. Eee, everyone, everyone, nothing happened that round. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Sand Slash for the Graveler. Stealth Rocks. Oh, you absolute poo-head. You absolute poo-head, mate. I'm just going to get out of here, dig. Knock off misses. Stunts ball. Brick. I shouldn't use dig. Okay. I was like, dig gives it two chances to get paralyzed. Cool team. May as well stay in because I know we've got stealth rocks up. Okay, we're dead. Right on. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Go into Pikachu. Stupid stones. I think we survived once. Let's work up. Anchor ring. That's fine. Can you get paralyzed this time? We think I think I should still outspeed. I do. Thank you. And now I've got two workups up. You're dead. Get out of here. Absolutely deleted, mate. 
Oh my god, it keeps going! Why does it keep going? <laughs> it's, it says he has any more mons! We did it! Yes! I lost to a foreigner. I'm so pathetic. You're not going to be defeated, and your stupidly large team of creatures is now useless. John, can you grab this guy for me? I can't have him escape before you get his mons. I got him. Took back ours too. Now you listen, you little brat. Time to times are changing. A league will be soon formed soon. You're not a tame a grassroots team. We utterly crushed. No will come into this land. Restrictions will be placed upon you, you people. Numbers that won't make you miserable. You uh, Let's try that again! Numbers won't make your miserable lot any stronger. You're so weak, you couldn't even handle defeating me with a dozen Pokemon. What's this league you're talking about? Let me guess, an organization wanted to rule over Tamer's freedom with an iron fist? If that's the case, what differentiates you from gangs like ours? You just get official approval from the government? You people have uh, become quite smart over the recent years. Is it in your genes, your recent exposure to the outside world, or a combination of both? <clears throat> I'm not stealing your creatures, nor taking them as a reward. That's John right there. As a representative of the League, I'll be upholding the rules uh, we'll be introducing shortly. I will never battle with more than six Mons. When... I don't think he calls them Mons, does he? That's a very colloquial phrase. My technology has progressed enough. I'll find a way to automatically prevent the existence of more than six... The, more than six full Pokeballs in a registered trader's party. That way, it'll be easier to control... I mean, prevent people like you from playing unfairly. Suit yourself. You've disordered me. I've stripped them... I'm stripped of my team, I've worked so hard to put together, but learn this, there are others, stronger groups than ours. Even someone like you won't be able to defeat them all. Ah, so the new order of things will manifest, they will be defeated, I will find a way, now scram. Now make like a tree and get out of here! Tim, thanks for all your help. Once again, I can protect Athena and Agatha, once again, I need your help. I'm incredibly weak, am I nobody? We don't have time for this, John. You're already becoming very strong, I can tell. Now, you just have a few more things left to learn. For instance, certain Pokémon are weak to other ty others because of their types. I've noticed something of the sort. It, it makes sense the water ones put out fire, right? I've noticed that Athena's Flareon is having a hard time dealing with Pokémon that shoot water. There's far more to it. I can explain it now if you want. Please don't. Please... God, don't. Seriously, shut up, Sam. Hmm? You are too busy when it comes to important stuff, yet you can suddenly find the time to explain all this crap. Come on, get the hint. Go talk to Agatha. Tell her you're sorry. Sammy, it's like we're back then, remember? Go talk to big of this again! Hello! Um, Agatha, I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude, nor did I want to insult you. You just have to realise that what we're doing here is of grave, severe importance. I was probably being very miserable. I mean, it might look like that from the outside, but trust me, it's just the way I think. Logically. I'm sorry. I'll be careful with my words from now on. Please tag along, it'll be dangerous for you otherwise. Wait, I was gonna go scouse again. Sam! Sorry. You've changed a lot. You're not the man that you once were. All it took was three years for you to lose so much of your humanity. What exactly did they do to you in Unova? Oh, have you always been that way? And now I've only just realised. Was I that blind? I'll tag along for now. Before we begin our journey, uh, I said it'd probably change you. I stand by that. We're looking for this faint glimmer of hope. Perhaps you'll change. Come on now, honey. Let's go ahead. We've got to set up camp. John? Yes, I'm coming. Sam, we'll have the type talk later. But now we have the rest. See you later. Later. Oh, that's it. Nothing. Nothing afterwards. Just done. And now the music come back. Okay, sure. Why not? I've set up another tent here. The forests just don't get thick and we're getting tired, so it'd be wise to rest up for a bit before we venture any further in. But after everything you've done, how could I ever look you in the eye again? And just why is this so such of a big deal, I sincerely do not understand. I have double believe in what you just said. But I guess it's true that you probably can't really communicate with others without being, well, <laughs> an ass. Me? Yes, you. Really, though, Sam, did something happen to you overseas? No. Okay. Just seems like you've been a traitor of yours. In any case, let's get back to the tent. Oh, man, I hope it won't be unbelievably awkward. Awkward! Awkward! Awkward!
No, this seems normal. Lovely spaghetti you made. Mmm, yummy! Oh, that was it? That Oh no, that was awkward. Ooh, 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 no, no, no. Through Viridian Forest, please. I'm paying well. Sorry, lady, I'm not a cab. I will take the money. You have no money. You have bugger all money, Oak. Take the cash. I regret catching the Pidgey. Pidgey, it was so bad for some reason. I mean, what are we doing? Athena's here. Are we just talking to Athena, then making tracks? What are we doing? Oh, that. That's Agatha. Sorry, just had to fully Donald Trump my mug. This place looks interesting, Sam. We can discuss a few things once you're finished with your errands here. I mean, I think I'm done with my errands here. Do I have any errands here? Athena, tell me what my errands are. I hate you for that serious air. For that serious air about you, you sometimes can be really immature. Come on, Athena. That's it? Okay. Oh, am I just going straight through to Pallet Town? Oh, yeah. Hamlet. Yo, there is nothing here. Such a small hamlet. There's nobody here. This looks like the perfect place. And cheap. Hmm. Traditionally, God woman. My mother, we have visitors! You aren't expecting visitors out here. Dear stranger, would you please make yourself at home? Uh, excuse my intrusion. I'm a wealthy man from overseas. Alright, shut up, Oak Man. I'm here to buy land. But there was no one outside, so I thought I'd find someone in here. Hello, stranger. I'm the owner of this house. We are the Midoris. We have moved here decades ago. I'm Samuel Oak. Pleased to meet you. Yes, the land is very cheap, but... Yes, the land is very cheap, but I'm afraid we bought it all. Please, please esteemed landlady. I came all the way here from overseas. I've been looking for a suitable place to set up my laboratory. It's a special place to conduct research. You see, I'm at the University of Celadon. Ah, one of the newly educated graduations. What did I say? One of the newly educated generations is what sorry my brain's going. A Celadon type like my husband. You won't much change this land. Mother, please. <laughs> Please stop beatboxing in my ear, dear. All right, I'm willing to accept your plea. But understand one condition. You have to marry my daughter. I mean, yeah. Gotta, yeah, if you're wealthy, gotta have a stable job. Marry my daughter. No, this will be Gary Oak's grandmother. Uh, that is quite sudden. Do not find my daughter beautiful. Um, no, quite the contrary. Her commander reminds me of my younger days, and she carries herself gracefully. It's just a bit sudden for someone to make such an offer to a complete stranger. My daughter's very picky. She's always like foreigners. Yeah, you're mixed, though. It'd be an indescribable shame to let her marry one. Wait, what? Excuse me? Was that racism? I don't really know what I just read there. However, I'm not one to talk. Beyond Route 23 lies an isolated village where someone like you once found me and took me with him. No native Cantonian was ever willing to marry someone like that, like me, a tribal from the mountains. Perhaps not without good reason. My tribe's ways re remained unchanged even compared to the ages of old. They forgot the traditions entail the adoption of the good and the new and the discarding of the exclusively bad parts. It must have been fate that's brought you here, Sonny. I see. Uh, fate does not exist, though. What comes to us are the results of our choices and actions more often than not. Yeah, all interesting young man. My offer, my offer still stands, though, interesting young man. Will you accept the hand of my daughter? I don't know why I'm starting to get more hunched. <laughs> Got an old crone. This sounds great. If I accept this hamlet, this entire hamlet will be mine. No, no, you get a little bit of land. You don't get to inherit the freaking town. You're the mayor of Pallet Town. It'd be insane to refuse such an offer. 
I accept your offer, but the marriage should be postponed for six months at least. I have to take care of a lot of gravely important things really soon. Yes, of course! It would be unwise to let current priorities get in the way! Well, you will take this land as a dowry. Wow, it's very fiddler on the roof. Are you happy, Sakura? Yes, mother. She's handsome, worthy, and educated. What more could I ask for from a husband? But what if he turns out to be a bad man? Then now it's my duty as a wife to know my place and not proper me to doubt my husband. It's a bit extreme. Honestly, as long as I can do my research without any interruptions, I don't care. As it is customary, you'll need to name your second child male or female Midori like me. Mid Midori? You mean my grandchild will have to be called Green? Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, boy, they'll be made fun of at school. Okay, I'm fine with it. Very well. I shall wait for you until... Wait. Very well, I shall wait for you until you're finished with your business. Wait, no. Very well, I shall wait till you're concluded with your business. I forgot what I just said. I didn't say concluded. I'm very grateful you found me a suitable bride. Ah, yes, your land really is suitable for what I need. <laughs> God, Oak is a dickhead. Thank you, and I look forward to our marriage. Goodbye. That's... That's a weird way to end the conversation, right? And this is where the rival of my grandson will live. Route 1 is aptly named. He's got very weak Pokemon. And Viridia looks like the perfect place for a newbie gym. And the route to the west might be the best place to end one's challenge. It's mountainous, and if I recall correctly, the plateau that rests upon the mountains that rests upon mountain silver. If only there was a trial before they could reach the summit. Need to make it all a bit dramatic sometimes, as my teachers would have taught me. We need to leave our mark everywhere. Make this feel like a really, really is a grand adventure. Make them feel important. Distracted the young and turn their lives into show, sports, panem et circuncis. Keep them coming. How many of them will really succeed, though? And how many will end up failures, wasting their best years as nomads with no education, no skills, other than creature battling? Wow, dude. Thanks. Now I'm thinking about all the games I didn't finish and they're kind of left in the ether. Just a bunch of ones and zeros of a game I'm never going to complete. Cheers, my guy! Really, is also the first day to traveler from Johto might stumble upon. If we situate the league between the western patches that leads to Johto and Viridian, we'll be able to cover both regions that way. It's the perfect place to welcome new trainers and send them off on their new challenge. Really, the general area couldn't be more ideal. The winds have changed, the beginning of something new. I'm talking into the air like I'm dramatic. All the towns in Kanto are named after colours. Then, let this little hamlet symbolise all the colours. A palette of sorts. Like all the nations before it, this one will change too, it's inevitable. If there isn't anything else need to do around these parts, I should probably talk to the guys. But first, I should also check out Route 23. Perhaps I can get a better view of the area. Let's get going. And we will get going in the next episode of Postscriptum, The First Journey. We finally made it to Pallet Town, finally sourced land for the lab. God, I'm not sure this should have taken that long. I'm going to watch like Hero Voltsy's playthrough and see how long it took him to get here. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm going to finish this coffee, make another coffee, and then maybe I'll do an early stream today. I think I might do an early stream today, you know? Maybe I'll stream twice. Maybe I'll stream two different games. Who knows? Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I think I already said that. Look after yourselves and don't do anything I wouldn't do. See you again.